What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mammoth Ego. Now, I've been asked a lot about how to get higher power level gear fast. And I'm here to share with you guys today my tips and tricks and the secret method that I use to level up all four of my low, low characters from level 30 something to level 150 in just a day. So if you guys are ready, let's buckle up and let's get to it. Now, if you do find anything in this guide useful, it would do me a world of good if you smash that like and subscribe button, uh, which are two great, fabulous, wonderful ways to help support my channel. Also, you can check me out live five days a week, every single weekday, uh, over at Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash mammoth ego. Now, that being said, we're going to jump right into my method here. Now, I don't have any low-level characters to show you this method right now um, because I've already leveled them all up. But I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I did it and how to do it the fastest possible way. Uh, this is a minimum of gear farming. There's very little repetitive content doing it this way until you get to the very, very end. And that's just so that you can get some pieces to get into the raid with Claw. All right. So uh, step one, start off at the Helicarrier. Go up to the gear merchant here, Mr. Roy. And what you're going to want to do, pay particular attention to the specialty items here. Uh, these guys are usually very powerful, but they're usually, they can sometimes be double slotted as well. So don't buy like all of the lasers if all of them are there. Just buy whatever is the highest power level for that slot of all your gear items. Now, if you're not sure if you have an upgrade or not, hold down the right trigger on Xbox. I believe it's something similar on PlayStation uh, and you'll be able to check right away and see now what you want to see is where that red down 25 is right there what you want to see is you want to see a plus okay so you buy the best in slot items that you can here click 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 then you pop out to your inventory and what you do is you want to equip your highest power level items possible so to do that you just hold your left trigger or L2 button on PlayStation and that will equip your highest level gear. From there you just run all the way back to your war table. Okay. And you're gonna go from your war table here and you're gonna go to the ant hill. Now at the ant hill you're gonna do exactly the same process. Now keep in mind though there are two vendors here and you need to pay particular attention to uh, both of them, okay? Uh, the first vendor that you're gonna run into over here is gonna be Roy, uh, which is the exact same gear vendor we just saw. And then the other vendor we're gonna see is going to be the faction vendor. Uh, and the faction vendor usually carries not only like an item or two that'll be pretty powerful for your character and like a decent upgrade, uh, but the faction vendors will also carry ISO8s, okay? Uh, so again, you're going to come to Roy, you're going to buy the highest power level for that slot. So in this case here, you see how we have a, uh, we have double and double. So in this case, I'd only buy one of these and we leave those two in the slot. This is super important, okay guys, because these, these items up here refresh every hour on the hour. These bottom items refresh once a day. All right. So after you buy all those items and then you're going to stop, you're going to equip everything make sure you're your highest power level gear for every slot then from there we're gonna run all the way over here and we're gonna visit <clears throat> pardon me the faction vendor now two reasons why you want to come to the faction vendor one is you're probably gonna find at least one or two items that may actually level up your current slots the other thing is you want to grab your highest level artifacts possible now, if your character can equip two artifacts, then yeah, that does mean buying two, but only buy two of them at a time, okay? These, this whole set of gear only refreshes once a day, so this becomes a tapped out resource very, very quickly. So after you visit the faction vendor, equip everything again. We're just going to pretend we see the whoop and new equipment has, has put on. Now we're going to go through, we're going to run back here, we're going to hit our war table. Now at this point, you should have already gained a... A good chunk of like power levels um it does vary of course because everything is is determined by rng including the the items that are available and the power levels that are available at the shops 
Um, but you're going to already notice just from logging in till now, we hit two vendors. You're already going to notice a very significant jump in your power level. OK, now the next thing we're going to do is guess what? We're going to go to substation zero. So over at substation zero, there are two more vendors that we're going to visit here. We have a Roy gear vendor and we have a faction vendor as well. Now, the faction vendor is actually the closest one in this in this case here. So we're going to just stop right over here. And see our faction vendor. Now, he's going to have a few pieces here that are very good, as well as hopefully at least one or two artifacts that are upgrades as well. Remember to only buy two of them and only if they're upgrades. Remember to compare your items every time before you buy them. You don't want to waste time, inventory, oh, anything. Nothing. But most importantly, you don't want to waste his slots because he takes an entire day to reset. I can't stress this enough only buy the upgrade for the slots you need to upgrade at the time okay then you're gonna go from there Roy again so we're gonna go over here we're gonna check this out and we're gonna buy just the highest stuff in slot for our character bye 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 we're gonna open up our inventory and equip all the strongest stuff again now you got to do this in between every single vendor I know I just didn't do that there but it's because i forgot because i was already leveled up uh you gotta every time you visit a vendor and buy things equip all the highest level gear you have okay so now next step is we are going to go to Brininzana in wakanda i always make the stop last because this guy usually has the best gear and you have the chance to get like you know good uh good vibranium gear good sonic gear and good buffs on it as well so we come through to Brennanzana. Now, Brennanzana only has one vendor. So we don't have the faction vendors here or anything like that. Okay. Which does make this part uh, nice and easy. But this is also where you're probably going to get like the biggest boost in your power as well. All right. So we're going to bust through this door here. We're going to visit this speller. And again, just buy everything that's best in slot for your character that you're you're leveling up. Make sure you compare everything. Boom, 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 boom. Buy whatever it is there and equip it all. Now that overall jump just from doing those four vendors and, or those four places and the six vendors in total should actually have given you a humongous power level jump right there by itself. Okay. Now. What you want to do after this point, depending on where you are in power level, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, one is if you're a high enough power level to manage a chest farm like the elite or the sorry, the snowy tundra, uh, the remains of the day or I can't remember the name of the other one right now, um, then definitely run uh, a couple of your of your chest farms, remembering to equip your your items every time you open a chest and then come back to the vendors on the hour. If you do this, you will level up so fast, it will literally make your head spin, okay? Uh, in just a couple of a couple of trips and letting the, the vendor refresh maybe one or two times, you will max out in no time. Now, once you get to the 120 or 130 mark, okay, um, this is where it's gonna change up a little bit. You're still gonna do your vendor runs, but you're gonna pay more attention to the Wakanda vendor once you hit the 120, 130 mark. Uh, he's definitely gonna give you the best gear to be, be looking for in terms of stuff that you wanna start focusing on in terms of perks and, and, and stats. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to uh, this mission right here here comes the pain uh, you want to put it to whatever difficulty you can comfortably manage all right um, if you can manage brutal then do it uh, but if you can't don't worry about it and you want to do this mission okay uh, this mission is an excellent excellent source of uh, of a gear farm and it's it's also a really short hop as well so you can actually rip through this super super fast and pick up a couple of good pieces of gear that not only will upgrade your power level but will also help you to get raid ready as well because you'll be getting vibranium and sonic uh status perk drops okay so i'm going to show you the run here it's super super fast and again depending on your power level at the time it'll depend on 
uh, I guess, like how hard or, or, or how much you do on this level all overall. Alright, so once you land here, okay, hit up on the D-pad, you're going to see a number of different indicators everywhere, okay? Now I'm going to show you the fastest way to go here. The fastest way to go, all treasure chests, all everything included, okay? So you just stay to the right, keep the wall on your right, and just go. You're going to come along here, there's an elite right here. You want to kill this guy, or you can fly right past this guy too if you can't handle him and you just want to do chests, then fly right past him, okay? He drops a legendary piece, and then there's a chest in here. You want to grab this guy real quick. Oops. First you want to deal with these guys, I guess. Alright. Now. Okay, he... Oh, I was going to say, now he doesn't want to open it. Alright. So there you go. So then he grabbed this chest. Then from here you fly straight. Straight up this way. Hug this wall. And then once you get here, there is Vibranium chip right here. This will drop some Vibranium or Sonic gear. This will drop some Vibranium or Sonic gear. There is a chest right over here. All these things show up on your map. All of these are points of interest. I'm not stopping for any of the side chests. I'm not doing any in-depth run here. Ah, we missed that chip. All right. Just going to wait for the spike to cook. Cook, 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 cook. Come on, bud. Let's go. It's like the game knows I'm recording content right now. Come on. Just stand around waiting. It's like no big deal. Boom. All right. So then you get your third piece here, and then we fly straight across. Now go up, or sorry, go right first because there's a chest right here. Oops. Okay. And then, boop, you stop at this chest here. And then go here. Again, just keep the wall on your right. Fly back this way. There's another chest right here. And then fly back this way. Now, Depending on how strong you are, you may not want to do this fight. You may want to call it quits just before this. If you can't handle it at the level that you are and the difficulty that you set it to. Okay? Sometimes we like to over overset the difficulty so that we get more units or, you know, the chances of better gear or what have you. Uh, so being mindful of that. Uh, if you cannot handle fighting a bunch of big spiders here, do not do this fight. Just go back to the Quinjet after that last chest and rinse and repeat until your vendors are ready, okay? Um, same with the snowy tundra as well. Don't don't engage with any enemy if you can. Literally just fly chest to chest to chest to chest and fly back to your... Boom, fly back to your Quinjet, all right? Uh, now, if you guys are curious about the snowy tundra chest farm, uh, I'll link it at the end of the video here as well, but I do have the chest farm for that. Uh, set up as well, uh, or sorry, I already have a video for that set up as well. So if there's, uh, if you wanted to go through for uh, a big bunch of units, or if you're trying for like uh, hard to get world drops or anything like that, uh, the Snowy Tundra, or Snowy Tundra Elite farms are some of the best places to do that. And that video will be linked probably up above or at the end of the video. So we just kill these guys kill these guys. Where do the other guys go? Oh, they ran away. What a bunch of what a bunch of cowards. A bunch of scaredy cats. There. Now, once they're dead, we're gonna bump bump bump. There should be some treasures in here. <clears throat> and then we go... Now, up above here, I didn't narrate this part, but up above here, there is either a hack or a smash panel right there. So sometimes you may need uh, one of your NPCs to do that. If you have a hard time getting them to do it after you've marked it, fly backwards from here and they'll figure it out. I don't know why. 
Uh, next, keeping the wall on our right. We're going to keep flying backwards this way. We're going to keep flying backwards this way. There is another chest up here. Boom. And keep flying. Keeping the wall on our right. I don't even care to fight these guys. Keeping the wall on our right. Down, under, and through. Grab this guy. And then just drop to the bottom of the waterfall. Grab this guy. Now again, you're going to want to, after every single, every single one of these, you're going to want to stop. You're going to want to equip all your best gear. Make sure you're wearing your highest level gear before you continue. And... Um, open your next chest okay that's super important to make sure that you continue to level up quickly so make sure you do that and then of course also make sure that you're clearing out your gear on a regular uh regular basis otherwise you'll end up sending a whole bunch of your leveling up gear to the locker and that can be a nightmare in and of itself to deal with Okay, so that is it in a nutshell, my kids. Uh, you basically just rinse and repeat from here. Uh, we, we either run uh, some more gear farm, or sorry, another chest farm while we wait for the vendors to refresh, uh, or the, the vendors have refreshed already because the hour has passed over, and we go and, and hit it back again. In only an, uh, a few runs like this, you will be level 150. You can start smashing the OLT for the next generation of power gains, or even attempting you know your first runs at the discordant sound rate as well. So I hope you guys found that useful. That is how I did it. That's how I leveled all of my low-level characters from level 30 to level 150 in just one day i did all all of them simultaneously and you can do it too uh i hope this was uh, i hope this helps out a lot guys uh if you did find this useful please hit that like share subscribe button make sure your notifications are turned on as well so that way when i drop new guides new videos you're always kept in the know i am streaming five days a week monday to friday over at twitch.tv slash mammoth ego make sure you you stop by and, and show some love over there as well thank you very much guys have a great one i'm mammoth ego